Let's get right into it. Number 9. The Heart's Secret Backdoor About one in four people are walking around with a trap door in their heart that never quite closed properly. It's called the foramen oval. This opening is super important when you're in the womb. It lets blood skip past your useless baby lungs and get oxygen straight from mom. This door is supposed to slam shut when you take your first breath, but for about 25% of us, this back door stays cracked open. Usually your lungs act like bouncers at a club, catching any unwanted stuff in your blood before it reaches your brain. But with this back door, blood clots can basically sneak past security. It's like having a VIP pass straight to your brain. Except instead of VIPs, we're talking about potentially dangerous blood clots. These can cause strokes. And not just in old folks. Young, healthy people have had strokes because of this sneaky little trap door. Most people with this condition don't even know they have it. So at least a quarter of us are walking around with an unfinished renovation job in our hearts. Number 8. The wrist bone that loves to die. There's this tiny bone in your wrist shaped like a boat. It's called the scaphoid. And it's pretty much the emo teenager of your skeleton. This little drama queen has the worst blood supply system ever designed. While other bones get their blood from multiple directions, the scaphoid only gets it from one end, flowing backwards. When you fall and break it, which happens pretty easily, that single blood supply often gets cut off. Then this bone does what any dramatic teenager would do. It literally dies. It's called a vascular necrosis, which is just a fancy way of saying dead bone syndrome. A significant number of people who break this bone end up with a dead piece of skeleton in their wrist. Surgeons can actually tell if the bone is dead during surgery because living bone bleeds when cut, but dead bone is just dead. Sometimes they have to completely remove it, which is like the bone version of running away from home. Number 7. The spine that hates you. Think about a support beam in your house that's designed to collapse. That's basically what your spine is. Our spine is shaped like an S, and there's a really good reason for that. When our ancestors decided to start walking on two legs, they needed something to absorb shock. Enter the S-shaped spine, nature's very own shock absorber. But this brilliant design is also trying to destroy us. Think of your spine like those cheap shock absorbers in a used car. They work great at first, but give them a few years and suddenly every pothole feels like you're driving off a cliff. Every step, every jump, all that force is being channeled into specific points in your lower back. Between each block in your spine, there's a tiny cushion called a disc. These discs are like jelly donuts, soft in the middle with a tougher outside. But just like a jelly donut, if you squeeze it too hard, the filling starts to leak out. When this happens in your spine, it's called a slipped disc. And trust me, it hurts way more than dropping your donut. Number 6. The jaw that's too small for its own good. Picture a garage built for two cars, but you've got three cars to park. That's pretty much what's happening in your mouth right now. Our ancestors had these big, strong jaws that could fit all their teeth perfectly. But then our brains got bigger. As our skulls expanded to fit our growing brains, our jaws had to shrink. But nobody told our teeth about this downsizing plan. They kept showing up to the party like nothing changed. That's why so many of us end up in the dentist's chair, getting our wisdom teeth yanked out. These extra teeth are like that relative who keeps trying to crash on your couch when there's clearly no room. And our modern lifestyle is making things worse. We're eating all this soft, processed food that doesn't give our jaws a proper workout. This tiny jaw problem isn't just about having crooked teeth. It can mess with your breathing while you sleep, give you chronic jaw pain, and even cause headaches. Number 5. Your face is empty rooms. Deep within your skull, there are empty spaces. That's exactly what sinuses are. Just hollow spaces filled with nothing but air and trouble. Scientists have been scratching their heads for centuries trying to figure out why we have these useless caves in our faces. Some say they make our heads lighter. Others think they help with our voice, but nobody really knows for sure. Evolution just left some empty storage closets in our skull and forgot what they were for. These empty rooms are basically luxury condos for bacteria. They're lined with mucus that's supposed to trap dust and germs. But instead of being a security system, it's more like leaving milk out in the sun. When these caves get infected, it feels like someone's trying to blow up your head from the inside. The pressure builds up so much that some people say it feels like their face is in a vice grip. And these useless face caves are really good at turning a simple cold into a full-blown crisis. Your body basically has a built-in system for turning minor inconveniences into major disasters. Number 4. Your throat's deadly crossroads. Think about having one tube in your body that's responsible for both breathing and eating. This is your pharynx, and it's basically the most dangerous intersection in your body. Every time you swallow, 
A tiny flap called the epiglottis has to quickly block off your windpipe. Think of it as a traffic cop that has to make split-second decisions. But this traffic cop can get distracted, try laughing while drinking water, and suddenly your throat's traffic cop goes on lunch break. Now you're coughing and sputtering like a broken sprinkler system. Evolution really dropped the ball on this one. It's like nature was doing a home renovation and decided to save some space by making the air tube and food tube the same thing. Every single meal you eat is basically a game of Russian roulette with your throat, and this system is considered efficient by evolutionary standards. Super efficient until you're at a restaurant trying to impress your date, and suddenly you're choking on water because you forgot how to do the basic function of swallowing. Even fish figured this one out better than us. Number 3. The eye that's wired backwards. Imagine building a camera, but instead of putting the sensor at the front where the light comes in, you stick it behind a bunch of wires and blood vessels. Sounds like something a drunk engineer would do, right? Well, that's exactly how our eyes are built. When light enters your eye, it has to travel through layers of neurons and blood vessels before it even reaches the actual light sensors. It's like watching a movie through a dirty window. But this seemingly terrible design actually helps us see better. Inside those messy layers are special cells called glial cells. They work like tiny fiber optic cables, guiding light to where it needs to go. These cells are particularly good at channeling red and green light. Meanwhile, blue light gets scattered around like confetti at a party. But even this isn't random. The scattered blue light ends up hitting special receptors that help us see in low light. This whole setup is like evolution looked at the blueprint for eyes, drew it backwards, then said, trust me, it'll work. And somehow, it actually does. Number two, the joint that hates its job. Picture this. You're holding up 150 pounds while being twisted like a bottle cap. That's basically what your knee does every single day, and it hates its life. Your knee is like a door hinge that someone decided should also work as a rotating platform. It's where your thigh bone meets your shin bone, with a little kneecap thrown in for extra drama. When you run or jump, the force on your knee can be up to eight times your body weight. That's like having an elephant briefly stand on your knee every time you jump. The knee is held together by a bunch of rubber bands called ligaments. But these ligaments are about as sturdy as wet paper towels when you make a wrong move. One wrong twist, and suddenly you're hearing a pop that sounds like opening a champagne bottle. Except instead of celebration, you're looking at months of physical therapy. Some people are even born with a kneecap that's actually two separate pieces. It's called bipartite patella, which is just fancy doctor talk for your knee couldn't even get its act together during development. Number 1. The plumbing problem waiting to happen. Think about designing a house where you run the main water pipe straight through a sponge that gets bigger with age. Well, that's basically what evolution did with the male body. The urethra, your P-tube, runs right through the middle of the prostate gland. When you're young, this isn't a big deal. The prostate is small and everything flows smoothly. But as men get older, the prostate starts growing. It's like someone slowly squeezing that garden hose tighter and tighter. And since the urethra is stuck running through the middle of it, you've got a recipe for disaster. This is why older men spend half their lives planning their days around bathroom locations. This isn't some disease or malfunction. It's just how we're built. Evolution basically said, A, good enough to reproduce, and called it a day. By age 60, about 50% of men are dealing with it. By 85, that number jumps to 90%. So if you're a guy, congratulations. You've got a time bomb in your plumbing that's probably going to go off someday. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.